Space Battleship Yamato, the movie, Yujo Zanjian Yamato Ju Chong Ban Uchu Senken Yamato, Gekihoben, is a 1977 Japanese anime film directed by Leiji Matsumoto. The film consists of various television episodes edited from the Iskandar arc of the 1974 Space Battleship Yamato television series. It originally had a new ending created for the theatrical release in which Starsha had died before the Yamato reaching Iskandar. In English-speaking countries, it was known by the title Space Cruiser. Topic. Plot In the distant future, the war between the human race and the aliens known as the Gamelons has destroyed the Earth. Radioactive asteroids have devastated the planet making its atmosphere uninhabitable. In an effort to assist the Earth, Queen Starsha of the planet Iskandar offers the Earth forces a device that can completely neutralize the radiation. In order to get this device, the space battleship Yamato is launched from the remains of its World War II ancestor on a 148,000 light-year journey. The crew of the space battleship Yamato has only one Earth year to travel to Iskandar and back, or the human race will become extinct. Topic: Japanese cast. Guro Naya, Okita Juzo, Aruga Kosaku. K. Tomiyama, Kodai Susumu Shusei Nakamura, Shima Daisuke Yoko Asagami, Mori Yuki Ichiro Nagai, Dr. Sado Sakezo, Tokugawa Hikozaman Taichiro Hirakawa, Kodai Mamoru Takeshi Aono, Sanada Shiro Masato Ibu, Desler, Toto Hikuro Osamu Kobayashi, Damal Machiko Harai, Starsha Akira Kamiya, Kato Saburo Kanichi Ogata, Analyzer, Yabu Sukharu Keisuke Yamashita, His, Sugiyama Kazuhiko, Jiro Namura Takeshi Obayashi, Schultz Akira Kimura, Narration Topic. Box office The film was a commercial success in Japan, drawing an audience of 2.3 million viewers at the box office, and grossing 2.1 billion yen $23 million. In 1977, Space Battleship Yamato outperformed Star Wars at the Japanese box office. Topic. Reception In contemporary reviews, Variety declared the film as, with a few exceptions, strictly Saturday morning TV fare, that, should bore adults silly and, owing to jargon-saturated dialogue, confuse the 6- to 12-year-old audience that might have appreciated it. The review commented on the animation, describing it as flat, static, often poorly synced and divided into segments for easy commercial insertion. The monthly film bulletin stated that despite being 
executed with considerable flair for piling disaster on ever more improbable disaster the film is mainly of interest as a cartoon that succeeds in capitalizing on both Jaws and Star Wars, as well as conjuring memories of both Japanese glory and defeat in the Second War. The review concluded that the film is so perfunctorily cobbled together and, on the whole, so indifferently animated that expectations are almost immediately dashed. Revivals <inaudible> 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 In 2010, a live-action remake of Space Battleship Yamato opened in Japan. Also resulting from this franchise is Space Battleship Yamato 2199, an anime reimagining of the classic story. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>